Hi everyone, I am Nasir and welcome back to Learn with Nasir and Fatma. In this series, we have been talking about the assessment of total uncertainty in the final result. And in the previous video, I talked about some main definitions that we are going to need today and in the uh, preceding videos. And I talked about the absolute uncertainty, fractional uncertainty and percentage uncertainty. And you can find the link to that video in the description below. So let's move further and talk about our first case which is of addition and subtraction and we are going to talk about how to calculate the total uncertainty if you are dealing with different addition and subtraction cases. So in case of both addition and subtraction, the rule says that in order to calculate the uncertainty in the final result, you need to add, you need to add the absolute uncertainties associated with both measurements. I will explain it with an example. So let's understand this with an example and uh, in this case I have two measurements uh, one is 0.68 plus minus 0.01 centimeter and the other one is 0.23 plus minus 0.01 centimeter both these measurements are taken for example by using a vernier caliper and you know from my previous video that 0.01 is the least count of the vernier calipers 0.01 centimeter and you also know from my previous video that the least count is actually equal to the absolute uncertainty so right here actually I have written the measurements and the absolute uncertainties together so as i as i explained the rule that either way even if i am going to add them or subtract these two measurements in both cases the calculation of uncertainty requires that i add these two absolute uncertainties i will not subtract them in any case even if i am subtracting these measurements so let's subtract these measurements for example so if I subtract this measurement from this, I get 0.45 centimeter. But what about the uncertainties? The absolute uncertainties? The absolute uncertainties are going to be added. So my final result is 0.45 plus minus 0.02 centimeter. Uh, one thing, one important thing that you need to see here is that number of decimal places that you have in uncertainties that is here are equal to the number of decimal places that you have in measurement. I mean the number of decimal places in your total uncertainty cannot exceed the number of decimal places in your measurement. So now let's add these two measurements. The result that I get by adding these two measurements is 0.91 cm but again by following the rule for addition and subtraction I will add the absolute uncertainties and this is my final result. You might be wondering about this plus minus. This plus minus just explains how much your reading can be below or above your actual measurement and if you need more detail you can follow you can follow my uh, previous video on the concepts of uncertainty. I will put the link in the description below. So that's all for the case of addition and subtraction and in the next video in this series I'm going to talk about the assessment of uncertainty in case of multiplication and division. So follow along and see you in the next video. And of course as always if you like this video and if you understood what I taught you please leave a thumbs up and share this video with your friends as well and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.